Alright, so you want to make good thumbnails, but you don't want to install Photoshop and other programs. Well, this is where Photopea comes in clutch. So I left a link for it in the description. Uh, what you want to do over here is click on PSD templates. You want to then search for a template. So of course, there are thumbnail templates that you can use. And some of these are pretty good, so you can just use these. But I'm going to show you how I make my thumbnails. So search up for text, find color change 3D text, click on it. Once you have it open, drag in your image. So this is the image I'm going to use. Make sure it's at the bottom and the text is up top. Now change the color of this top text. So double click on it, click on the thread, change it to whatever you want. Since the you know image is blue, I'm going to make it blue. Now to edit this text, right click on it, blending options. Here are all of your options. So enable stroke and put it to five and change the color all the way to black. Okay, done. Go to gradient overlay and decrease this. This will make it a little brighter and that looks nice. Then go to outer glow, enable it, uh, change the color to blue. Make sure it's like a pure blue like this. Okay, increase the sizing and increase the spread to your liking. And then of course opacity down, boom. And then go to drop shadow, make sure to change this red to whatever your text color is. So mine is blue, here we have blue, click OK, click OK and here we have our first text now do the same thing with the bottom one right click blending options enable stroke put it to five change the color to black click ok go to gradient overlay decrease it a little bit and then go to outer glow make it white click ok size up spread up a little bit opacity down just like this click ok now we're gonna resize your image so i want my image to be enlarged and i want this sort of blue thing to be on the left side and then my text to be on the right side. So I'm gonna put it over here. Right, and then I'm gonna move my text. So I'm gonna have this over here and then the bottom one over here for now. So the top one is gonna be edge. Then I'm gonna copy this. Control C, Control V, click allow. Then this is gonna say glow. And then at the bottom is gonna say effect. Let's maybe make this a little bigger. So click off it, click on it again. Boom. Now highlight all of the text that you made like that and then you can resize it to whatever size you want just like that. Now we can change how the image looks like so click on your image, go to filter, go to camera raw, I'm gonna up the vibrance and I'm gonna up the contrast just like that. Now click OK. Then I'm gonna go to filter again and I'm gonna click on lens correction. This is basically warp so I'm gonna put it at something like 30. As you can see that looks fine, I'm gonna click OK. Now what I also like to add is some blur, so we'll go back to filter, go to blur and add radial blur. Then click on zoom and then you want to move this position to where your subject is. So we have the X, now move the Y. And once you see that there is no blur on your subject, you want to decrease this to 5. There we go, click OK. Then you want to click on all of your effects by holding Ctrl. You want to right click on it and click on merge layers. Then go ahead to edit transform and warp now warp your text as you want i'm gonna do something like this make sure you control these as well these little blue things so here we have our little warp that's cool and all click on this tick and then you want to add some drop shadows to so make sure it is merged like this go right click blending options enable drop shadow make sure the color is black click ok make the angle to 90 degrees then I want to increase the distance by a little bit and then decrease the opacity. So something like that. And then of course size should be little. So that's how I make it stand out more. So click OK. Now we're going to add some light. So click on this button. New adjustment layer. That's going to make a new layer. Make sure it's above everything you just made. Then click on this brush button over here. Make this to 400 and make the hardness to zero. Then click on opacity. Make this to something like 15% and then change the color. So click on here. I'm gonna make this blue, something like this to match the color of, you know, whatever we're doing. Click OK and then start drawing the sides. So as you can see, I'm painting the sides, making it glow a little. Right, and that is about it. So then if you want to save this project, you want to make an account first, click on account, log in or whatever with Google, then go to file, save more, PSD to storage and click on PR drive and then name this whatever you want click save and now to export this once again file export as and then choose your format then set your quality and click on save boom and here is our final thumbnail so yeah boys that's how i make a thumbnail hope you liked it and i'll see you in the next one goodbye